When a baseball game starts, there's no knowing when it will finish. A team's journey to the final out can take any number of unexpected turns. For the Grand Island Vikings, the path to their biggest win began as they stood by a teammate. A player who in his most difficult days helped lead a journey to the most unexpected comeback. It just felt like that it was meant to be and that it, there was someone else was helping us. The inspiration for the Vikings this year came from Matt Lenz. He recently finished his junior season and loves the sport he grew up playing with his father, Ken. Matt's role with the Vikings was limited. Playing on a deep and talented team, he rarely saw the field during games. While he didn't play a lot, Matt was always there to practice and support his teammates. A huge part of this team, I mean, everyone on the team loves him. Too many people think that characters built and all these life lessons are learned through playing time. That's not when those lessons are learned. Those lessons are learned when you commit and you're dedicated to the sport you choose to play. Matt's story and the way these kids have treated him um, are an example of that. In April of 2011, Matt's father was diagnosed with lung cancer. Ken was initially given just two months to live, but fought for more than a year. Matt's teammates were there to support both him and his family. His dad was my first coach when I moved to the island, and I would always be playing with Matt, so his dad had a huge influence on me. Coach Lenz worked with most of the players on the Grand Island team as they grew up. To pay tribute to their former mentor, all the Vikings players wrote his initials, KL, on their hats. His father was always just, he, he would, uh, not only would he teach you baseball, but he would just teach you things about life and he would just be such an encouragement to everyone. I think everyone that's met him would say that. And he's just touched so many lives and it was just, he, he was a great influence on my life. Ken's health initially began to fail as the Vikings began their playoff run. After each win, the team would go to the hospital with a game ball for their former coach. They all uh, rallied around and just helped me through it all. And it means a lot that um, my dad meant a lot to the uh, team because he coached all of them. On May 31st, the Vikings won the Section 6 title to advance on to the state playoffs. The next morning, Ken passed away. Four days later, the entire Grand Island baseball team attended his funeral. Hours before, they would play in the state quarterfinals, a game the Vikings had never won. It kind of inspired us that, you know, we weren't just playing to win baseball games, that we were playing for Coach Lenz and for his family. After saying goodbye to Coach Lenz, the emotion of the day appeared to be too much to overcome. Grand Island had battled for the entire game, but fell behind by three runs in the 10th inning. With two outs already on the board, the Vikings were just one out away from their season coming to an end. I was just like on the edge of tears, like I didn't want it to end. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, we were down. Honestly, I didn't think the game was over, but you know, I'd be lying to think that I said, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna come back in this situation. When the Vikings got a runner to third base, Head coach Dean Santorio turned to his bench. Yeah, he just kind of pointed at me, and I pointed at myself because I didn't really think that he was going to pinch run me. Um, I wasn't thinking about winning the game. At that point, I didn't care that much. I mean, I want to win, of course, but I wasn't thinking about that. Matt entered the game as the pinch runner at third base. The atmosphere just changed. It just felt like my dad was right there, and he was going to help us win the game. As he took the field, there was an unexpected break in the game. The visiting coaches were tending to an injured player on the other team, giving the Grand Island community their opportunity to honor Matt. 
We probably had 500 fans there, and they all stood in ovation, standing ovation, and what was great, and I don't know if, if, if it was just meant to happen, but there was about three to four minutes standing ovation because this other kid was being tended to, and it gave everyone a chance to honor him. And uh, it was emotional. After a day filled with tears and sadness, Matt would get a moment to celebrate. On the very next pitch, a base hit brought him home. Once I touched home plate, John McGinty was just right there. <laughs> he was out of the dugout before I even like got to home plate. Moments later, the rest of the team followed. It was just awesome. I mean, when he came in after scoring, it was it was almost a dream come true for him and his family. The guys were just saying, you know, that was for your dad, this is all for your dad. When Matt scored, I'm thinking, great, we end our season 6-4. He scored the last run of the game. Um, my kids all ran out of the duck, and I got 22 other kids on this team. And every kid hugged him at the plate. And so that was a great feeling. And obviously our team was uplifted, and it's a great story. But if we lost 6-4, I think everybody there, our kids, myself, we'd have been happy. Now this would have been a nice moment for Matt's season to end. Except the game wasn't over. As the next batter came to the plate, a military cargo plane flew over Sal Magley Stadium. Not an unusual moment with the Niagara Falls Air Base nearby. But for Matt, the moment meant everything. His father had a passion for watching planes. And to him, the flyover was a clear sign. In the 10th inning, when the big planes flew over from the air base, he loved watching those. It just felt like that was just a message that um, he was here and we were going to win. Another base hit cut the lead to one and brought the team's best hitter, Dylan Kelly, to the plate with the winning run on second base. After all that, we're saying to ourselves, oh my gosh, we might win here with a base hit. Kelly would complete the comeback. When I run at first, I just saw the ball rolling behind the center fielder and just felt like this, the world stopped. Like everything just paused and I just went nuts. It was crazy. And when we finally did score that one run, it was just like chaos. We didn't know what to do. After we won, we're just like, what do we do now? It was just so stunning. As the joy of the win started to sink in, the Vikings' thoughts quickly returned to their teammate who had buried his father that morning, a man they had all known since their days playing baseball began. We were not only excited to win the game, but to win it for him on that day. The win did more than lift Matt's spirits. It gave him another moment with his dad. Yeah, it felt really special because my dad loves baseball so much, so it just felt like he was there. Everyone believes in different things, and um, but at that time, in that moment, uh, I can say the same thing. It was like it was meant to happen. It was like uh, Mr. Lenz was looking over us. Um, the whole game changed in that moment. You know, I don't know what you want to call it, but it did seem like a miracle, and, and for some reason it was meant to happen.